Hello, on today's video we're going to go over an unboxing of the Producers Pride Brooder and Heater um, from Tractor Supply and tell you why we chose this one. Hi, I'm Chris of the Split Hour Farm. My fiance and I uh, just bought a plot of land and are trying to turn it into a farm. Um, come check in, subscribe, follow along our journey as we are adding new items each week. Uh, this week is chickens and we'll go through all the different things that we got to support the, our chicken flock. Um, so let's get into an unboxing of the Producers Pride Chicken Coop Heater and Brooder. I picked this out because one, it was pretty convenient. We have a tractor supply right near us. Um, there was a multiple different options for heat. There's both a lamp, which we have over here as well. It's a large heater. Uh, it has different ways of uh, setting it up. You could hang it. Um, you could hold it vertically. You could have it horizontally. If it's horizontal, it has a three different settings. So the, um, I'm holding the box here. Let's just show you the actual item. Um, so as you can see here, there is the three different prongs and, uh, you can pull these out and change the height of the level. So when you have your baby chicks, uh, you might have it at the, bottom, the, the very bottom if you just got them from hatchlings and you just wanna make it so that the uh, baby chicks could run under here without hitting their heads on the top. Um, so you don't want them to be touching the actual top because it, it, it is it's gonna get warm, uh, but you do want it uh, close enough to them so that it's actually working as an effective heat source. One reason we definitely purchased this item was because of the lifespan of the item. Uh, you can have it from when they're just baby chicks at a lower level, increase as they get larger and larger, and then there comes with extra um, stands, I'd say, so that you can adjust the way that's set up. So now your chicks are grown, but it's still cold, you can set it up on a uh, vertical plane so that they can just you know, sit next to it and it'll heat um, their area. Also, if it's maybe um, space is limited and you need to, uh, you still want to have the, the heat, you could also turn it on the side by just swapping these quick little inserts. And then bam, nice and easy. Um, Nothing really too difficult about that. There's also on the back little hangers, so you can hang it on, onto the wall. Um, there's little holes on each corner, so you can set up a, a chain to hang it from your barn if you'd like. A bunch of different options. Uh, another nice feature of it is it has both a brooder or heater. So the brooder is going to serve as like a um, as like the mother hen. The mother hen sitting on the, the chicks to keep them warm. That's what the brooder is going to be. It's going to have it in the um, vertical stance where it's just there underneath it and getting it nice and warm for them. Another nice aspect of this which led us to purchase is the price. Uh, so there's a lot of options out there. Um, varying ranges of prices. Track supply like I mentioned is real close and it was only $39. $39 you have it for when they're chicks, you have it for when they're they're grown, and um, it is definitely a, I, I would say, a safer alternative to a heat lamp that a heat lamp could maybe fall um, and catch your hay on fire. Yeah, so the, this uh, this has 87% less energy than a 1500 watt heat lamp. So our other heat lamp over there, burning a lot more energy. Has a built-in thermostat that maintains a constant temperature, so you're not overheating, uh, varying back and forth. Radiant technology is also uh, safer than a heat bulb. So this is a good option for you. Hope you liked the video and found it informative. Uh, the Producers Pride Heater and Brooder, uh, I would recommend it. It's worked well for us so far. Um, like, subscribe, and check in next week for what else we got going on.